Hello and welcome to another Dominion League match. I am playing for the first time in a long time, but I don't think again, for the first time ever against Xerix, purveyor of fine musics and a very strong Dominion player. It's my first of like three matches in less than a week. So finally gonna really get going on this season. So this is probably not a good board for a 2-5, huh? With Cathedral? Yikes. Um, I mean, I guess what we could do is we could skip Cathedral and open Trading Post. That's not ridiculous, I suppose. <clears throat> Do we want to duck it while we're doing it? Like, we'd want one at some point. It's the only source of plus buy, but getting one that doesn't trash a copper feels pretty bad. Hmm. I think, I think it's still... Probably better to take one than not. Maybe it's close. I don't know. It's a pretty bad open any which way. I mean, the nice thing about the trading post is it does synergize with Seer, which is the draw that we're going to want to use. All right. I think I'm going to go with Dungeon here. And this should probably be a patron. We bottom deck the trading post, so that's great. <laughs> Punish for buying the ducket, maybe. Uh, do we want another patron? We want another dungeon. Take another dungeon, I guess. Our opponent has already trashed five cards. Wait, how had they already trashed five cards? Because they bought Cathedral turn one. Or did they buy a ducket? Yeah, okay. We need to get a seer. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to lose this game. Already. Like, the, just the cathedral opening is just too strong. Like, it's possible that I should have just opened cathedral. I think that would, I mean, I think that would have also been losing, but. Like, because I miss a trash and I miss getting an opening by. So it's kind of bad either way. I'm going to have to decide. Hopefully we just, with the dungeon, we just see... Um, our trading post. Because otherwise we're going to have to decide if we hang on to estates or not. And that's going to be annoying. Okay, we did see it. Um, I think I'm willing to... Well, no, we're definitely going to get some other junk. Let's hang on to the ducket. All right, did we just take another seer here? Didn't find our patron. Sad. I think we take another seer.
It's like once you're drawing your deck, you can't really accumulate villagers, which means there's not really terminal space. So single terminal being livery certainly makes sense. Oh, I totally missed that Sacred Grove is on this board. I guess maybe we didn't need the ducket. Although having a livery and a ducket might be better than a Sacred Grove anyway. I think I am not going to assume that I see my trading post here. If I see a seer, damn it. Uh, mm. We're going to try to get some extras off, I guess. Oh man. <laughs> uh, do we just not play the trading post here? I guess it's probably situation. That could have gone better for sure. Imagine Zerx is getting close to wanting to green. I mean, you want to probably be able to hit double province. Uh, so we have two coppers down there, and then the top card is the patron. Mm. And we do have a dungeon. We will have a dungeon coming in. So I think, I think the way we do this is we discard this. Sil well, do we discard Silver Estate? We want to discard cards that the the seer can draw, but we aren't going to see necessarily see all of them. That's the the problem. Mm. Uh, maybe. Eh, pretty awkward. I guess if we discard, what I don't want is to, eh, I guess it doesn't matter if we fail to see the estate. We, yeah, we found the silver, but not the estate. Okay. All right, um, do we want to take a livery at this point? Probably do go livery, seer. We have a couple of villagers. We're not gonna need to play the trading post that many more times. Right, we've got the two coppers in the estate. So we wanna play the trading post two more times. Realistically, yeah, all right, so let's get delivery now. I guess we could consider whether we want to get a third buy, but unlike Xerix, we don't have to feed the cathedral, so I don't think it's super important. We might want to consider taking road network. Soon-ish. The assumption that Xerix is going to start greening.
We're going to want to add some more patrons, which is one reason to potentially want another buy. Because mm. that's going to be what allows us to uh, accumulate coffers, as Xerix has done. Crash is a patron. Whoa. I guess that's a reason to take dungeon. Maybe it, is it correct to keep to keep the estate and trash the copper? I mean, given that we're going to discard it anyway, maybe it is. By keep, I mean. Not trash, I don't mean keep in hand. I think we're good to... Yeah. This. So do we... Does it matter? There's no way that we care about the money right now. Right? Uh... I really probably could use another buy. I just want to take another seer, or are we ready to take a patron? We are going to get a horse. We have a lot more money than we need if we're taking another buy, unless we're taking Seeker Grove, which doesn't really work. So that's unfortunate, but... What can you do? I have a dud from Xerix here. Maybe I'm not going to lose this game. I mean, he does have a lot more coffers than I do. But it seems like I'm not, maybe not totally lost. It's a lot of patrons. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm gonna do top deck two seers. Okay, so patron, patron. The reading post, and this will be the last time we play that. Okay, so we're gonna go. What? Um, do we want the road network? I think the answer is. I think we're gonna we're gonna take the last patron. Let's just take. Seer is Seer Province because that I mean a horse is as good as a draw off of road network realistically. 
Trash is a seer. Oh my gosh. What? How could that possibly be the most trashable card in your hand? <laughs> This is still a good turn, for sure. You go... Double Province? And do you go Triple Province? Maybe I should have gone for Road Network, actually. That would have cost me a horse, but I would have drawn at least two cards. I mean, this is kind of scary because 11 coffers is a lot. How much actual money do you have? 12 from patrons, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think we can safely assume those are neither of these are money. Um, yeah. Probably horses? I... Or, wait, one of them is a dungeon that you just didn't play? Oh no, never mind. You didn't have a dungeon last turn in play? Okay. But no, so it is a dungeon, but it, yeah, okay. Did spend five coffers on that, okay. Am I meant to discard patron instead of silver? I think I am. I think I've been doing that wrong. Because I can reveal it. Oh, gosh. Doesn't matter too much. Um, we can actually leave those both on top. We've got the the dungeon. I think that's fine. Wait, do I really only have three patrons? I thought I had four. I guess not. Okay, so we. How much did I say that they had? Or in the Xerix had money wise? I know I counted it. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. So exactly enough to triple if they draw their entire deck and don't have to trash any money. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, we're going to take one province for sure. And I think we're going to go. So if Xerix triples, we get one province, then we need. Um, four duchies in the state. <sighs> I guess there's also patron reveals. Yeah, we definitely have to play around triple. So does that mean we just have to take double duchy rather than road network? I think it does mean that. I think it does mean that. So if they triple, they're up by two provinces. Yeah, I can still only high in that case, which is... So I basically will... I'll still need Xerix to dud, but how it goes, I guess. What did... What did trash. 
Crash to copper. So we got 27. And definitely triple. I'll have to just take triple duchy. Yeah. Not that far away from being in a position where I could have won this game, but... Uh... That last card, I don't know what it is. It doesn't really matter. I don't need the need any more money. Wait. Uh, did I just miss the win? I Oh no wait, no I didn't. Oh no wait, never mind. Oh no, never mind. Ugh. I can't math. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could have taken province and gotten six more points. No, that's not how that works. Um <laughs> Well, I am. Right, so, yeah, I mean, that game was ended up being closer than I thought it would be, but hard to, hard to overcome the delivery tempo. All right, um, so we got Wharf and Butcher, Fortress, well, definitely going to want to open with Steward, Steward and what? Not a four cost, surely, so we can just take Stuart, I guess. Um we could take we could just take silver. I don't think that'd be crazy. We could take Forager and then even faster. We could take encampment as like a bad experiment. Double steward. Interesting. Um, and given that encampment exists, I feel like I'm okay with going for Forager. Not really the ideal order. Well, if I had known that my draws were going to work out this way, the double steward definitely would have been the better opening. Oh well. Okay, so if we fire off both of these, we will have all of our stuff. 
in hand. Um, will we be able to hit... What will we be able to hit? I mean, I guess if we play Steward for coins... We have one estate down there. So we forge the estate, that's a coin, and then we have six coppers. So that's seven coins. We could go to nine coins, which would be enough for Wharf Fortress. I think that's a pretty reasonable approach. Butcher Fortress wouldn't be unreasonable either, but I think two wharves first and then the Butcher is probably better. We trash here instead. We have four coins. Um, we just take Fortress. I think it's better to do... Oh, that's eight coins. I can't math. God damn it. <laughs> I guess we could take Encampment Gold. Why did I think I had six coppers? I don't know. Um, I mean, we take a wharf, wharf encampment, I guess, as well. Maybe that's actually the play. Uh, problem is, well, next turn. Uh, yeah, I should do encampment gold. Oh, I guess I could do encampment plunder too. Sure. Oh, okay. This should work out pretty well, even if we fail to draw the. Whatever. It's no good when you fail to draw the whatever, but still, it should work out. Probably what we really want to draw here is our forager, so we can buy double encampment or encampment plus something. But even if we draw steward, I think we'll be okay. Or even if we draw, if we draw neither of them. I guess we'll be able to afford canal. I don't know if that's the way to go. Okay, we do. Find the forager. Six coins. Go. The fortress doesn't do too much right now. Hmm. This is actually a really awkward number of coins. Seven would work a lot better. Obviously. Like, Encampment Fortress sets me up to have the fortress going forward, but it doesn't... Um, it doesn't do anything for my payload next turn, which is going to be the limiting factor. Maybe I should have taken the gold instead of the plunder. We are going to have the steward on top of our deck, so seeing an extra village, I guess, will be. will make me feel better about hitting specifically five if that's all I hit. I can grab a war for a butcher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm behind here, though. I need more 
gains. Yeah, I'm not sure. If what I've been doing has just been too short sighted or what exactly definitely ended up not in the situation that I would have set out to be in. The beginning of the game. We definitely want to draw cards here. Only going to have five coins. Ugh. Yeah, we would have really been better if we'd seen this encampment. Instead. So like, on, uh, we probably need to take the Butcher at this point. I would really like that third encampment, partially because it, it comes with orchard points, but it just can't make sense to take right now. And we start with neither of the encampments in play, so we need to play the fortress, which means we can't play the butcher on the fortress. Blah. <clears throat> I mean, if this encampment is for some reason still here, I guess we can butcher copper into encampment. That's not too bad. It's not, though. Come on. <laughs> um, we could butcher the forager. I think it makes more sense to just play the Butcher and not gain him. Like, we could do gain and play, but we don't have enough coffers to make good use of it, unfortunately. So do we want to take... I mean, we, we don't... I mean, the, the truth is we don't really need the draw from Wharf right now. Um... It wouldn't be bad, obviously, but I'm thinking we what we really want is more payload. We can do gain and play with the Butcher if we draw things in the right order next turn. So I think I'm just going to take the Plunder. Maybe that's wrong. Well... I guess we're not going to butcher the fortress this turn either. This is annoying. Like we went for, we ended up going for encampment plunder stuff early, where our opponent did not, and now we're going to have lost both the encampment and the plunder split. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, 
mean, I guess the double steward open if you don't collide them is better. reason I didn't open it was because you could collide them and you would be sad but yeah we're so far behind right now so far behind okay well gain and play isn't really doing much of anything here so I think we just this we want to take canal um we should consider getting a war for plus buy if nothing else at this point i mean we could also just go fortress butcher actually that looks the best to me We are going to need to get a wharf for plus buy here because our, we're going to butcher the forager next turn. Don't have any more fought. Well, I guess we can always forage fortresses. So maybe we don't need to. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn. You're taking the canal. Not what I would have expected by there. Um, definitely play a fortress. That's fine. All right, so a butcher fortress into wharf. Do we butcher Fortress into Wharf again, or do we take... I mean, honestly, we could take a third butcher. Maybe getting the second Wharf now is better. Get the two Wharves in play. Then again... Um, and it could be just as sensible to t we take butcher. Oh, we're not going to be able to butcher this fortress. Obviously, we have to play it. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's take the wharf. So we go like Canal Fortress, I guess. That does kill all of our coffers. But I don't think it matters too much.
Definitely going to want to take a third Butcher this turn. We also are headed pretty rapidly towards pile out. We need we need butcher and wharf just for orchard points. Um, That's uh, probably a lot more money than I'm going to have. Double province, okay. And you have three butchers, four wharves. So that's eight games. Pretty scary. I guess we can go ahead and forage... Fortress, there's no real reason not to. Butcher. Fortress into. Butcher. I don't know how we're going to possibly win this game. I don't think we can match the provinces, right? Um... And even if we did, we'd still end up behind in points. Two wars in play, like you're not going to dud. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty hopeless. Like, Xerix already has the ability to empty piles at this point. Three butchers, four wharves, and a buy. It's eight gains. Um, that was true even before I gained the butchers, so it's not like I screwed something up there. Um... Now, arguably taking more wharves like is making it easier and therefore I shouldn't do that. I don't really know what I do instead though. I can't really imagine Xerix failing to be able to pile here, so I mean, I guess I could take a, a little stewards or course are cheaper. Take a steward without effectively lowering piles. If I take two stewards, though, yeah, it's just all, it's just all bad. You're going to see nine cards and you need 
And you have three fortresses and three encampments. You could bottom deck them all, I guess. I just feel like I have to take a wharf. Um, and steward. Can't match the. Don't quite have enough for double province either. Um, take a province. Guess I could take a gold. Something that doesn't lower piles. It would power up my forager in theory. I mean, I could take a duchy, but... Well, yeah, this should be a loss. I'll I'll go ahead and make Xerix find it, find the win, but I doubt it would be terribly complicated. Oh, yeah, I mean, emptying provinces certainly also works. Okay. I don't really know um, what I needed to do differently there. Like, did I just need to take the risk and open double steward? Is it just that much stronger if it works? Maybe. I didn't notice whether Xerix is collided. Um, okay, so we've got Spice Merchant, but we don't have a state trashing. That's annoying. It also means we don't have ruins trashing. There's Guild Hall, which maybe makes Charlatan worse. There is Curse trashing with Spice Merchant, interestingly. I guess that also makes Charlatan worse. There's no villages. So the terminal we want to play with is probably not Marauder anyway. It's probably Livery. Probably? Maybe. Well, maybe it's Council Room. I don't know. Well, we got to make a decision on that point. I mean, it could be Band of Misfits. Because, like, there's storeroom for plus buy, there's Marauder, and then there's also, like, we can play it as Spice Merchant. We can play it as Warehouse or Harbinger if we don't want to play it as our terminal. Okay. Um, given that you're taking the Marauder, I think I will take the Band of Misfits. I guess this is probably just another silver. How many silvers do we want? Do we want warehouse? 
I mean, there is going to be junk on this board. I think I will take a warehouse. Hey, what? That's rude. Guild Hall, huh? It does have some synergy with Marauder. Um, but... I'm somewhat inclined to take another Band of Misfits. And then we're going into a new shuffle. Okay, I could have done without seeing this warehouse also. <laughs> uh... I guess since we did play it. I want to take another one? Seems like it could be entirely too much. I mean, we could take like a livery or a charlatan. The guild hall does not excite me that much. I guess while the ruins are still out, I'm still just going to take another one of these. We've got our warehouse down here and another band of misfits, so I think we want to play the first one actually as Harbinger and try to top deck the Spice Merchant. Through the warehouse. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. We could. I mean, I guess we, we should probably play the warehouse. Let's just, just top deck a copper, or should we top deck nothing? We top deck nothing is the play. Uh, all right, should I get... Should I follow with the guild hall or just take a gold? I'm not going to gain that many treasures, but I guess it's still probably better to have it than to not. Should I marauder here or warehouse? I think I'm going to warehouse. A gross game.
Oof. Guess I take a silver. I think seeing this hand means we lost the ruin split, I think. I'm not sure. There's no way this playing this rune market makes sense. I think I'm just going to buy a province. Do we want to play Spice Merchant? Maybe we don't. Like, we have... We have the Spice Merchant in our deck. I almost wonder... Well, never mind. Um, yeah, let's just warehouse. Oh my gosh. When Marauder is the best terminal that you can play. Sad days. Sad, sad days. We take a cauldron. I don't I'm very unlikely to care about the plus buy, but it doesn't expend my coffer. We take a silver and that wouldn't either, I suppose. Um I'll take the cauldron. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously not going to curse. There's no reason to hang on to this rune market, right? I mean, I guess I could buy a copper. Maybe that's actually good. Is this just another warehouse? I think it is. Oof. We spend all of our coffers. How do we do this? Um, we could go duchy copper. It's probably what we should do. I don't think we spend the spoils to annex, right? I mean, all but five cards from your discard pile into your deck. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if we could just go province, like, 
the only way that Xerix matches is by hitting Spice Merchant for plus buy, or ban the one band of Misfits is like storeroom. Pretty unlikely. I keep forgetting that I have the option to storeroom with Band of Misfits. I should keep that in mind. Anyway, um, Annex... I mean, it would help my shuffle. Although, it also makes the two golds miss the deck, doesn't it? Yeah, never mind. All right. Okay, we've got plus buy this turn. Um, do we play the warehouse, or do we just play Band of Misfits as store room? We'd have plus buy anyway, I guess. Hmm. I think I'm going to play the warehouse. Just discard a band of misfits, probably. It probably doesn't actually do that much. I think I'm going to... This is Marauder to take a coffer. Go Duchy Copper. Maybe this is wrong because I want like this is I could go province state. Oh wait, province annex is the then I'm like in so much debt. Yeah, I don't really want to be the first mover on that. Now that there will be no more annexing, taking province makes more sense. It is too bad, though, that I don't have any of my plus buy or anything. Um, so spend three coffers to buy province. Yeah, that's got to be the play. Yeah, okay. Dumb game. Anyway, let's tie. Okay, so trashing is sacrifice, junk dealer, sauna, forge. A lot of options. Um, I think I'm going to aim to just hit junk dealer and open, like, probably militia. We will probably want a devil's workshop here, especially with the lucky coin. But I think getting the militia in the open is better because I want to hit Chunk Dealer. Probably go Militia Fishing Village. Well, if you have a 5-2, that's certainly better. Okay, but you don't actually. Let's buy here is Cordier. Um, which 
There are not very many multi-types here. There's just fishing village. Oh, and militia. Okay. I'm gonna take a second junk dealer. I don't really care about sauna. Like I can, um, I can take Avantos without having saunas because there's fishing village. So, I mean, we do have a lot of silver, so like having a sauna would not be bad for sure, but. There's also Devil's Workshop to gain imps, which I already mentioned. I think I'm going to take the Devil's Workshop now. This has been a really lousy shuffle. <laughs> no... Bottom deck both of my junk dealers. <laughs> Don't hit five. Not that I actually care that terribly much about hitting five, but... Well, now I do. And we will certainly take an Avanto. We could have won the Avanto split here. Oh, wait, maybe. No, you're definitely going to. We could have won the Avanto split if we hadn't seen both of these estates. But no. But no. Man, that's really annoying. No. Can... <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> I mean, maybe this blocks Xerix from hitting this Avanto, but... I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Man. Oh, that's so... Crap. Uh... So we'll do this. Not sure about that, but... This is this is a bunch of injustice, is what this is. Do we go ahead and take Cordier now? We don't even have a single imp, but what are the alternatives? We have no. Well, we we have two Avantos, but I mean, I guess we could summon a fishing village since we know we have two Avantos in these thirteen cards. Yeah, sure. Okay, that was wise. All right, now I am gonna take. 48, I think. Could take Forge. Hmm. I don't... I don't know. We've trashed like four cards with Junk Dealer. It's not great. Like we could, a big forge would help us. 
but Cordier. Yeah, this is so <laughs> this is so bullshit. I think I need to keep this devil's workshop. Maybe. Probably. Oh, wait, oh never yet. Okay. I so easily could have had three Avantos there. I'm just in. Bit of disbelief about how that played out. I'm a little bit surprised about trashing the lucky coin. I feel like, I guess if you're not gonna get a Devil's Workshop, then it makes sense. If you are going to get one, and I feel like you should, so that's how you can continue to add draw. There's no other way to do it. All right, if we delve here, we can get an imp. That's really not ideal, but... I had seven and I could summon. We're getting, yeah, we're going to be getting militia to every turn now. God damn it. I mean, the saunas did let Xerus get super clean. We'll say that. Which I have not been able to do with my junk dealers. And I guess that is the advantage of that strategy. But I still feel like if I had... My, you know, draws had cooperated a little bit early, better such that I had gotten the, the uh, um, the third of Anto, I would be in a much better situation nonetheless. We go, do we go ahead and take a forge now? The thing is, I don't even know what we'd be forging. I guess eventually, like, Silver Junk Dealer. We could probably just resign. I think that'd be pretty reasonable. I guess I'll take a forge. Maybe I should be discarding the forge, I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> that... I mean, there is definitely some synergy there between Delve and Sano Vanto, but... I still feel like that was 
not it's not right um all right so no trashing here So we want to do a big inventor thing, but it's going to be tough to get enough draw. Definitely want to open gear. My gear inventor looks pretty good. Um. Probably, probably just take another gear here. And here, I think we're going to take maybe Should we take another inventor? We're definitely going to take a bazaar. I mean, we're going to be over terminal. Xerix is certainly over terminaling. Sheepdog is definitely another thing I was considering. I think the inventor is going to be better than that, though. Okay, this works out. Um, I guess we just set aside one estate. Oh, no, we can set aside a copper because we will have, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a sheepdog now. Another bazaar. We really want to get as many bazaars as we can. I guess vlogging sheepdog is a way to to get actions. I hadn't even been looking at that. Oh, whoops. I'm a little surprised Zerk shows to play the sheepdog there. Do I have three bazaars? Damn it. Yes, I do. Uh, I think we just take another sheepdog here. I mean, we could take another inventor. But yeah, that makes sense. So we could do the same thing. We've seen we do have a gear down here, though. Hmm. You could frog the sheepdog and take take another sheepdog, or we play the sheepdog. I mean, we might draw a bazaar, but even if we don't, we might be able to afford a bazaar. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay.
think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take another inventor here. Um no. Doug. We are going to want to take more inventors this turn, almost certainly. Okay, so do we want to stop here and invent a bazaar? We probably do. Wonder, wonder if it's possible to win this turn. We have three inventors. This is the second of the inventors. So, like, maybe we don't need to invent a bazaar. We should have a bazaar down here. Hmm. I mean, I don't think we can... No, there's no way. I mean, if we invent nomads, we can have net gains, but like, I don't think we can invent enough inventors. Crap. Crap. Maybe I should have stopped. Guess I have another bazaar in those three cards. We we take double bazaar here, right? There's not even really much reason to react this sheepdog. We might as well just set it aside. I don't think Xerix will have the actions to empty the inventors favorably here. Could be wrong. Well. I mean, Sheepdog is Frog does give actions, but at the cost of not actually drawing through the deck, and there's a lot of junk to draw through, so... Yeah, okay. There's a very real possibility that we can win here. Xerix might be meant to buy Duchy with Mountain Pass. Oh, never mind. Right, it's got to be Invent Inventor. Okay. There's no way we need these coppers. Is it Invent Inventor or Invent Bazaar? I mean, it, I 
think it's inventor. Oh my god. One gain short. Well, that's not exactly right. I, like... Ah, uh, shit. I think now I'm meant to take Duchy. Invent Bazaar, buy Duchy. I can bid 40 on Mountain Pass. And then Xerix has to invent two inventors and two duchies. Now that's two. Shit. Um. And I can. I guess I can take the province. If I do take the province, if I if I invent duchy and buy province, uh, I guess Xerix bids forty. Mountain Pass. God damn it. Ah! I just had like one more draw. <laughs> I could do this. One more card of draw. Um. If I take two duchies, the problem is that I'm trending negatively in terms of deck control. Xerix, I think, still only has three inventors to my five. So, like... Okay, if I take Dutch, well, Mountain Pass is worth eight points. So if I take Duchy and then buy Province, Mountain Pass points aren't enough for Xerix to be ahead. Um, but it does still mean that like, invent Inventor, invent Inventor, invent Bazaar, buy, uh, invent Duchy. But you'd have to, you'd have to gain and play Inventor to be able to do that, which is really hard. Not quite as hard for him because he has the Swashbuckler, but. If I take double duchy, then he has to be able to get either duchy, duchy, estate. I mean, if he buys province, it just it just doesn't work. Um, so he, he go, has to get inventor, inventor, bizarre, duchy, duchy, estate. That's not going to happen. The, pro the problem there is the, the long term, not the short term. Um... Even Inventor, Inventor, Bizarre, Duchy Estate seems like a lot. Like, maybe it's fine for me to just take one draw card and one Duchy. So maybe I should take Swashbuckler, Duchy. could see that being correct. Great. Yeah, unfortunately, well, the good news is that if Xerix can't win this turn, it's very difficult for him to prevent me from winning on my turn, even with even if this hand doesn't get any better after the bizarre draws. Like at the absolute worst, I can take. 
inventor bazaar estate, and that means Xerix has to either get duchy estate now, which is unlikely. Oh no. Man. God damn it! Come on! Did I deserve that? I don't think I deserved that. Ugh. All right, so I guess we're opening Orchard here. There is Guide, though. Maybe we're not. Um, there's also Lighthouse. I mean, Torture is still relevant as a draw card, but... It's still going to be good early. Xerix can't open Lighthouse, but... Hmm. I'm going to take it, but I'm not actually confident in that. And then the other question is, do I want a Lighthouse? Do I want a Slay? Probably not Slay. Lighthouse... Maybe. Pretty awkward. I guess I'll take one. Not super confident in that, but I also don't need a million coins to shuffle. Alright, we're definitely going to take the Exorcist now. So we can take a second torture. That doesn't seem actually that good. Um, like, Stonemason for double guide? Only going to draw one card into our shuffle, but if we're adding that many things, we're probably going to draw dead. Draw something dead. Um. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do this. Partially because I can, <laughs> can actually consider stonemasoning the torture into double ranger at some point. Um... Do I want to take a ranger now? Did I just grab a silver? I mean, we can get some payload from gallery, but there's only like so many actions we can get from city quarter. So like, and if we were going to play, we might need silvers. It's 
board is actually really pretty awkward. I'm going to take the ranger. Thinking about getting another stonemason. At some point, it's correct to get city quarter. Like adding some more actions to the deck first would be good. Stonemason for like lighthouse slay or something. I really don't know how to play this board. I think that's what I'm learning here. Okay, so we can Could stone mason a copper play the slay and buy a city quarter probably probably play the slay. We could also call a guide. Maybe that's better. Okay. This is fine. I want to guide this. Probably not. There we go. We are going to need to take a Galleria. Maybe I should have just taken one when I had five earlier. I already seem to be behind. I trash opera here. I have so little money in my deck. <laughs> I have like the two lighthouses and some coppers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just, I just did this wrong. I should have taken a Galleria when I had the chance. I mean, I can take one like next turn probably, but. Oh wow, Slay, Galleria, Synergy, I did not even realize. I don't know that it necessarily matters so much, but... I think I understand that move.
the move being gaining two more guides. I mean, I guess it's obelisk points. Maybe that's the only reason. That and to get a stone mason. Too bad I can't stonemason torture into Galleria. That would be actually useful. Yeah, super duper far behind. Isn't are we could we possibly be doing gain and play with this stonemason? If anything I'd want a stonemason the horse, I guess. Which don't have the draw for that. We could. Might as well do this. We could. Hmm. Could stone mason the torture or the ranger? I think ideally I'd like to play the ranger. What would I stone mason the torture into? I mean, double silver isn't ridiculous. I guess. Gas or double lighthouse? We have so we have we need we can't trash copper and still buy Galleria. We need to buy Galleria. If we get two more coins. Just four more coins is a lot better for being able to buy a city quarter. Although the next turn we're in four debt and we have well, we get three coins from the gallery, so we'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five is fourteen. And then we yeah, I guess that does work. Okay. Wait, what? When did I play my ranger before? Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, no. Do I want to convert a horse into an imp? Yeah, sure.
I guess I have to call guide here. I mean, I think I'm... Yeah, I probably could just resign this, but might as well play it out. Pretty irrecoverably far behind. Yeah, I, d I definitely did, a, the, did not build this in the correct order. I don't necessarily think the torture open was bad. It is possible that opening Galleria would have actually been correct, though. Galleria Lighthouse. I could see that being better. Oh, God. Um... How much money do I even have in my deck? Not enough. Short answer. I don't know what I'm supposed to bid. I'm probably supposed to not win the bid, but it's very easy for Xerix to pass it to me if I make a reasonable bid, and then if I don't, then it's just like even more good for Xerix. No. Yeah. Oh no. I was probably supposed to play the city quarter there actually, but maybe not. All right. So can I, should I, Stone Mason the Ranger? I mean, 13 debt, six, seven, nine, ten coins. Uh, And I could stone the rain, stone mason the ranger into guides just to have those that. I won't get any. Um money out of that. If I take Yeah, I can't I can't get enough out of debt. So I think Okay, I'm going to do this. I guess we'll take another imp. Oof. 
fortunately, there's like no way Xerix has enough debt to stop him from just continuing to score. So, need him to dud, but I don't see how that's really possible. What with the top deck city quarters and the guides. Continue looking for an opportunity, but kind of doubt it exists. I mean, I guess I have as many points as he does with less debt right now, but I also have less payload, so... Does it really matter what you take here? Just take silver. Take a sage, I guess. Not very good. You could take another slayer, a lighthouse. Probably say lighthouse. So yeah, I think I think opening Galleria Lighthouse would have been better. Possibly opening Exorcist Lighthouse would have been better and or more better. Mm. The torture just did not have like any real impact on the game. I knew it wasn't going to be a great long-term investment, but even even with that accounted for, Doesn't look like a lot of money, but that's because you're in a debt. I'm a little surprised Eric didn't decide to go for another city quarter, because it still would have been net, like, progress. All right, do I call guide here? I think I don't. Well... How many city quarters do I have? I have a decent number. Three. Like if I don't find one, I mean, I do have the other wisps and the imps. I regret my choices. Uh, 
I regret my choices. I should probably keep the stonemason around. It means I can't even do anything with the exorcist. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't call the guide. I guess because it doesn't matter anyway. How likely was I to see a better hand than that one? I don't really know. Are you going for a pileout? Seems unnecessarily complicated, but... Especially because you don't actually get plus buy from it. Yeah, you did something wrong here. You were meant to play Slay or something. Oh wait, never mind. There's that you don't have to empty city quarters. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, I did. I did not play that game well. Um, that being said, I don't think I played so badly that I should have lost this badly. This is pretty. Um. Pretty sorry. I felt like in general I was playing, I have been playing pretty good Dominion, but boy, did that not pan out here. Um, yeah, I mean, we did have the, like the game one, five, two open, which I think was pretty bad. Um, I game game five is the one that I really like. Feel like I would have won, and I'm not sure if I made a mistake or if. I mean, it was a you know a board with no thinning, so there was some amount of like variation involved in that. Um, you know, maybe I lowered piles too much but I was literally one card draw short of winning on my second to last turn and then I could have taken double duchy instead of duchy swashbuckler I think then you know Xerix potentially like takes a different line and, and I'm still in potentially a rough spot because I'm unlikely to draw with the two duchies in my deck but um I don't know. I that one I thought I thought I was like a little bit ahead, not very much, but a little bit ahead. And then um did not pan out. The game game 4 was the sauna game where I I guess that synergy the the, the the uh, Delve Sauna synergy was stronger than I perhaps gave it credit for, um, but I still feel like if I'd gotten that third Avanto, it would have made a huge difference. That'd be a lot less draw for Xerix, a lot more draw for me. Um, and I had to draw, like, the turn that I missed five, I had to draw, like, both of the estates that I had in my deck. Um, and no silvers, no militia, no whatever. 
in order to to not hit five. So that was like I think that was quite unlikely. Um. The tie game, whatever. I don't know that one. Game two is like the game with Butcher, Fortress, Wharf. I, I, yeah, I, that one. It felt like as like the the tactical decisions that I was making along the way were appropriate for the situation, but that the the cumulative effect of it was that I was well behind, and I'm not sure if that was. I mean, I said, at the time I said, you know, maybe the double steward opening is just like has too much upside to pass up relative to steward forager. Um, maybe, you know, there was just some key point price points. I just was a little too low or like, like just barely missed. I mean, there were some turns where I was like hitting six instead of seven that were pretty unfortunate. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, I guess, you know, certainly credit to Xerix for playing the match very well. But I don't, I don't feel like I played that badly. Um, this game I played badly, I think. But other than that, I don't really feel like I played the games badly. So, I don't know. Let me know if you think otherwise, I guess. In any case, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another match tomorrow, so until then.